Williams. He is, uh, he's working his job and uh, he's working the crowd, trying to find someone that we can talk. Uh, Obed Sullivan is a uh, guy who shows uh, consistency with 20 knockouts. Uh, he has been, he has been just simply uh, a, a pitcher of consistency. And uh, that is an upcoming fight for us. Obed Sullivan and Jesse Ferguson, uh, the former IBF Continental Heavyweight Champion, uh, defended his title on six occasions. And speaking of Obed Sullivan, and he has uh, only three losses to his credit, one draw. But tonight, Ray, he does face Jesse Ferguson, a man with a tremendous wealth of experience. Yeah, he really, he really and truly does because, uh, as we said from the top of the broadcast, both these guys have to win this fight. I mean, Obed Sullivan's 30 years old, not old but not certainly not young he's got to put his uh, winning streak uh, on the line now Well, you know, it was back on June 17th of 95 when Obed Sullivan won the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship, Ray, and he did it by knocking out Curtis Shepard in the first round. And, uh, you know, uh, ever since that time, the ex-Marine Obed Sullivan has uh, really thought that he's deserved better shots at trying to win himself a, a championship or a, an opportunity to get himself into contention. And you know what? He got that chance back on June 30th. Michael Grant knocked him out in the ninth round for the IBC title. And uh, Michael Grant in attendance, of course, tonight. He has, Michael Grant says he's got a lot of respect for Obed Sullivan. He just thinks that Obed Sullivan has to stick to the things that make him a good fighter, and that is using his jab and using the ring to his advantage. It'll be interesting to see if he does that tonight against Jesse Ferguson. But I'll tell you, Grant, uh, uh, is, as you said before, he's probably the top of the heavyweights as far as the young up-and-coming heavyweights uh, after the, uh, the Lewis and Holyfield and, and the Tysons. And uh, for him to go the 12th round, or no, he got stopped, actually, uh, did Obed Sullivan in the ninth round by Michael Grant. And, uh, and that has been the knock against Obed Sullivan, that he just seems to underachieve in those must-win fights when he's fighting these the top young heavyweights. Uh, and he, in fact, he has lost uh, two of his last three fights. Again, those were two major fights. Once to Haseem Rahman, he lost a 12-round decision, and, uh, and uh, then in his last fight, being stopped by uh, Michael Grant. And don't forget, too, folks, if you're joining us and you've got a PC, the password for tonight at broadcast.com, www.broadcast.com. You enter in the password explosion, and you can take part in the first time ever interactive boxing with your own PC. We have unique audio, unique video, plus live chats with some of boxing's up-and-coming stars, Shane Mosley, Haseem Rockman, and Chris Bird. And you saw Chris Bird and Haseem Rockman in our International Boxing Digest Top 10 Heavyweights as these gentlemen are standing by and your chance to visit them live on the net. Amazing how technology, Ray, is now getting into the sport. So people at home, even though you're watching it on pay-per-view, you can get even closer by logging in on your computer at www.broadcast.com. And it's just that much, I guess, another great option of being close to the sport that you love. Looks like we're just about set for our ring introductions. We will join Mark Bureau. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with Power Punch Promotions and Foxwoods Resort Casino and Budweiser, this Bud's for you, presents 10 rounds heavyweights. Your referee for this event from Margate, New Jersey, the sensational Steve Smoger. Here now are the principals first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the red trunks with the black trim, weighing in at 235 pounds. His professional record reads 25 victories, 17 defeats, 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he hails from Nightdale, North Carolina, 
here is Jesse the Boogeyman Ferguson. Ferguson. His opponent in the red corner, wearing the gold trunks with the red trim, he weighs in at 238 pounds. His professional record reads 29 victories, three defeats, one draw, and 20 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Gulfport, Mississippi. Here is the fighting Marine, Obed Sullivan. Sullivan, 10 rounds, heavyweights. Protect yourself at all times and respect the bell. Touch him up and God bless. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, sir. And that's our referee, Steve Smolger. And uh, Ray, maybe a, a, a quick comment on what type of fight you expect. Well, I expect that the Obed Sullivan, as they say, has to impress tonight. Uh, and I really, really believe that he's going to take the fight to uh, Jesse Ferguson. And, uh, and Ferguson is historically a very slow starter. So I would suspect that O'Sullivan, or, uh, Sullivan will be using the center of the ring like he is doing now, using that educated left jab and uh, throwing, throwing the combinations. The one punch type of fighter is clearly Jesse Ferguson. Plus the fact that Ferguson's 41 years old, but he can still punch. He's got a wild swinging right hand that can, uh, he can really sh uh, punch if he, uh, uh, if he cracks you with it. Does Obed Sullivan have the power to knock out Ferguson, though? Well, I think at this point in Ferguson's career, probably yes. Although uh, Ferguson has a nasty habit of hanging around. He doesn't get stopped by too many guys out there. I know that Riddick Bowe stopped him a couple of rounds, and uh, Frank Bruno shocked him. He knocked him out in the first round, and uh, Donnell Nicholson stopped him in eight, but that was more of a cut. And of course, uh, Donnell Nicholson, incidentally, was the last opponent for Kirk Johnson. And uh, Kirk Johnson uh, winning a very impressive uh, decision over Donnell Nicholson. And we'll have a chance tonight, of course, in our main event to see Kirk Johnson battle Al Ice Cole. In the meantime, it's Obed Sullivan in the yellow and red trunks against the boogeyman, Jesse Ferguson. Yeah, Sullivan doesn't want to rumble with uh, Ferguson too early uh, in on this fight. You'll want to keep him, if you can, in the center of the ring and basically outbox him and use, use his uh, superior uh, speed in combinations. But Sullivan does have a lovely, uh, a terrific uh, left jab. He really does. Good work by Jesse Ferguson as he... Starts throwing a few punches. We haven't seen uh, Jesse throw too many to start things off. And as you had mentioned, Ray, he is a slow starter. And really for Obed Sullivan, he's been throwing nothing but jabs either. Yeah, it's a very good first round. It's an inter inter interesting round. Once again, Ferguson will probably do his best work inside where they are right now. This is where Ferguson should be uh, going to the body. And from the outside, like it is right now, that should be Sullivan's fight. Very nice three uh, three jabs in a row uh, thrown by Sullivan. All three landing. Take that jab out, Jesse. Take it out. And this fight is scheduled for ten rounds. The basic consensus is that it could easily go the ten rounds, just due to the nature and the styles of both of these boxers here tonight. Ferguson, after throwing two two bombs, uh, overextended himself and uh, fell back, slipped back. But it was uh, that's all it was. a look at some of the action from round one and you get a good look at the jab action from Obed Sullivan Ray yeah he's got a very educated left jab he really does and there we have the, there's the work of uh, Ferguson on the inside another angle here this is where uh, once again very nice right hand landed by uh, by Ferguson 
Followed up with the left, but it was a little bit off. But the, the, the follow-up right to that was completely off, and that's what threw him off balance. But a good round. Good, good, good fight. Round two scheduled for 10 between Obed Sullivan, the fighting Marine, against Jesse Ferguson. And I guess we could call Obed Sullivan the fighting ex-Marine. He uh, entered the uh, Marines, uh, I think it was back in 87, spent five years there. And actually, while in the Marine Corps, that's where he learned to take up the sport of boxing. And actually, at one time, Sullivan was ranked number seven of the America Boxing Federation while he was a Marine boxer. So, uh, you know, hey, he's had, uh, he's had some experience in the Marines. And like they say, uh, you know, that don't get any tougher than the Marine Corps. That's so. what they say, exactly. And I'll tell you, uh, Jesse Ferguson, even though he's still, you know, he's long in the tooth and a uh, bit old at 41, nevertheless, he's a uh, pretty imposing figure in that ring and uh, obviously has loads of skills and lots of experience so for the younger Sullivan he's gonna have to be uh, very careful inside there this is where Sullivan has to be very careful because uh, Ferguson is a guy that, that can lull you to sleep lull you to sleep and then all of a sudden come back with a two or three huge punches just like that good two punch combination and uh, right there Obed Sullivan backs off and says a few words to Jesse Ferguson well what he was doing is basically saying it that uh, it didn't hurt me a bit well in fact it did good round for Ferguson It'll be interesting who can, uh, the guy with the will, the guy that's going to win this fight is the guy that can impose his style on the other. And the first round, it was uh, Sullivan uh, keeping the fight in the middle of the ring for the most part. This round, Ferguson's been able to uh, corral him into the ropes and do some damage. You can see the experience of Jesse Ferguson as he hits Obed Sullivan with a good left hook. Obed Sullivan signaling to his corner that he's okay, not to worry. But Jesse Ferguson looks like he's got a game plan, and so far it's been a fairly successful game plan as we have seconds remaining here in round number two. Oh, wow. Ferguson just landed a great counter right hand. He's really trying to set him up. And in fact, I think Sullivan maybe have a, have a slight cut over his left eye uh, from those right hands. We'll have to check that. Well, there seems to be a bit of an abrasion there, whether it's a cut or not. Let's see if we can get some uh, good look in his corner here. Okay. Gotta keep that elbow in. And you gotta get yeah, it is a cut. Close the distance. Close the distance with that jab. You're reaching for it, but step up, get your distance. And don't stop with your punches. Stay in a flow. If you throw that double jab, throw a straight right hand and a hook. As soon as you well, stop, that cut right, could prove to be a problem for Obed Sullivan a little later on in this fight. Here's a look at some of the action from round two. Yeah, this is where Ferguson can do such great damage to you because he lulls you to sleep. And this is where uh, O'Sullivan, or Sullivan says he doesn't, uh, he's not, doesn't get hurt, but he sure was. You know, that, it was that final right hand thrown by Ferguson that I believe uh, opened that cut. Round number three is 41-year-old Jesse the Boogeyman Ferguson looks to knock off the young Obed Sullivan. Yeah, both these guys know the importance of this fight. Uh, they, they're just, both of them are in just, they're must-win situations. And if you look at the power punches through round two, Ray, uh, Jesse Ferguson uh, doing an excellent job, and he's leading in the statistical category that counts the most, and that is landing the power punches where he's almost at a 50% ratio. When Sullivan abandons his left jabs and comes inside, this is where Ferguson can do his damage. And this is, in fact, is where Ferguson is doing his damage. 
Good work there by the left hand of Obed Sullivan, but then Jesse Ferguson comes back with his own uh, punches. And Jesse Ferguson, for a man who's 41, still has a lot of speed. And uh, he's been doing a good job on getting inside on uh, Obed Sullivan. Well, I think it's almost that, that, that Sullivan is going on, on his inside now, so Sullivan is fighting a Jesse Ferguson-style fight, and that's, that's bad news for him. Because the one thing that, that, that Ferguson has is the power. So why would you want to give the other guy the advantage, or at least the opportunity to clock you? I don't, I don't understand that, particularly when Sullivan is such a superior, uh, skilled boxer. And a lot less dangerous keeping the fight if it's in the middle of the ring. Quick right hand by Jesse Ferguson kind of gets the, the crowd going. There's another quick right hand, and those punches uh, landing to the body. Well, some are landing, some aren't, but the, 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 the problem is, is that why is Sullivan taking these punches when he doesn't have to? Well, I know, Ray, earlier uh, the consensus was everyone expected this fight to go the distance, but if these guys continue to throw bombs like they are, it may not go a 10 full round. Yeah, it's a grueling fight. There's no question about that. Both guys are having their moments, but uh, Ferguson's having more moments than Sullivan. Especially in the power punch departments. There's a good uh, couple of punches put together by Jesse Ferguson. But so far, Obed Sullivan has taken everything Ferguson has thrown his way. Show your hands on Jesse. His seconds remaining here in round number three, Jesse Ferguson and Obed Sullivan. Ferguson uh, and Sullivan in the ropes. This is where, and this has been sort of the story of the fight. Who do you like better, the pity pat fight, uh, punches of Sullivan or the return counters, the heavy shots by Ferguson? Interesting fight. Well, we certainly hope you're enjoying tonight's telecast live from the Roseland Ballroom in New York City. I'm James Monsies calling the play-by-play -play, and joining me with our insight into the world of boxing as our viewers choice analyst Ray Rutter as we're very proud to bring you this telecast live from New York and it is the first ever Tuesday night heavyweight showdown courtesy of Cedric Kushner Sports Productions and we're certainly hoping that this is uh, the start of a, a long and fruitful friendship between Cedric Kushner and the heavyweight division. He wants to showcase a lot of the top up and coming heavyweights and uh, we're seeing uh, one of them right now in Obed Sullivan. Once again they're fighting on the inside which once again is to uh, Ferguson's advantage. They're fighting inside that lad and inside as well. They're allowing, he's allowing the older man to uh, catch his breath from the inside. He doesn't have to work as hard. He can sit and, and, and really throw his shots. Ferguson missing with a couple of big right hands. Sooner or later, he's going to connect on one of those. But uh, right now, Obed Sullivan is just happy fighting the way that he is inside. Perhaps Sullivan feels that, that, that Ferguson can't, can't hurt him. I mean, I mean, but he ought to know better than that. Because he sure isn't respecting, uh, Sullivan is not respecting Ferguson's punching power right now. He's just standing right in there with him. Short punch work by Obed Sullivan. Yeah, you got the faster hands by Sullivan uh, and the harder uh, solid shots 
being landed by Ferguson. So it's going to be a tough fight to score. Very nice double left hook landed by Sullivan. One to the chin, one back right back to the body. We're only into round four, but uh, a lot of punches have been thrown to this point. Yeah, that's a much better round for Sullivan. He's throwing a lot of uh, nice combinations inside there. The faster hands are starting to take over. Once again, he's awfully, awfully close to Ferguson's power in there. Some great camera work right there as you get an overhead view of Obed Sullivan and Jesse Ferguson. That's going to do it for the fourth round. Let's go to Arnie Rosenthal. Turning into a uh, very good-looking, hard-fought, close, heavyweight encounter. Let's go to Arnie right now, mingling in the star-studded crowd. Arnie? Hi, thanks. I'm here with Steve Farhood, former editor of Ring Magazine. Steve, you lived in Manhattan all your life. It must be fantastic to see boxing like this in the city. It's a full room. This place reminds me of the Blue Horizon a little bit with the overhang. It just, I just wish there was more boxing in Manhattan. I don't like traveling all the way to Atlantic City and Vegas for big fights. Well, from what I hear from Cedric Kushner, there will be. Real quickly, tell me how you see what's going on here right now. Jesse Ferguson taking a fight to Obed. The boogeyman's doing great. I love the boogeyman. When he lets his hands go, he's as good a heavyweight as most. And right now, I think he's beating Sullivan. And you think it's going to continue that way? You think Obed might turn things around in the late rounds? Well, Obed's got the cut that's bothering him. I think Obed could steal a few rounds. I have a feeling it's going to be a very close decision. Thanks a lot, Steve. Back to you, Sean. All right, thank you very much, uh, Steve Farhood, of course. Uh, very renowned boxing writer giving us his insight, and uh, we want to thank our uh, American counterparts uh, for providing us with that interview. And Arnie Rosenthal and both uh, the champ, Sean O'Grady, doing a heck of a job here tonight, giving us uh, just a little bit more insight into the ring for the Tuesday night heavyweight showdown live from the Roseland Ballroom in New York, New York. Now, once again, that fifth round, you can, or the, uh, the fourth round, rather, uh, Sullivan was throwing very nice combinations on the inside and the outside. Uh, but once again, he was getting tagged every so often by uh, the Thunderbolts thrown by Ferguson. The boogeyman doing a good job of hanging in, and of course, he likes to throw those big punches. It was uh, Jesse Ferguson who actually hung in for six rounds uh, with Mike Tyson back in 1986. And that was when uh, Mike Tyson was a very, very dangerous heavyweight. And uh, not too many people even made it past the second round with Tyson back then. So Jesse Ferguson's seen it all. Yeah, he really has. I mean, you look at his names. He's fought Tyson, Selden, Dokes, Tubbs, Mercer, Bo, Holmes, Rockman. I mean, it, the, the list goes on and on. So he's certainly not going to be intimidated by anybody. Well, he went 12 rounds, too, with uh, Asim Rockman, and that's, uh, Asim Rockman is an up-and-coming uh, great fighter that possesses a lot of power, and that shows you right there that even at the age of 41, Jesse Ferguson's not going to lay down and play dead for uh, Obed Sullivan here tonight. Oh, no, he, he, re he, he receives a lot of respect by the, uh, the, the boxing heavyweights around. He'll take you to school, and he'll knock you cold if you're not careful. Ferguson's having a great round here. Once again, he's winging these, uh, these, these thunderous shots to the body and head, and he's been successful on more times than not. Sullivan continues to stand directly in front of him. And the corner for Obed Sullivan calling for quicker two-punch jabs with that left hand. They want to see a lot of punching action out of those hands of Obed Sullivan, and really in this round, we haven't seen that.
again, Sullivan's allowing Ferguson to take breathers every so often, which is which is exactly what Ferguson has to do at this stage in his career. Well, that is going to do it for round number five. No, 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 just no, no. Both of these gentlemen go at it once again, and a lot of punches being thrown here through five rounds. Take a look at the low blow in this last round, Ray. Uh, some punches there by Obed Sullivan that uh, shouldn't be going in the direction they were going in. Yeah, and, and Steve Smoger, being the excellent referee that he is, he caught that as well and uh, gave a warning to uh, Sullivan. So when you're in that close, you're gonna and you're throwing uh, hooks to the body. I mean, there are the occasion ones, occasional ones that are going to go south of the border. There's nothing intentional. There you got a good look at the corner of Jesse Ferguson, and uh, there's the crowd enjoying uh, tonight's festivities. Boy, we've got a jam-packed Roseland Ballroom, and uh, everybody seems to just be raving at. Uh, you know, having professional boxing here at the Roseland for uh, the first time, and uh, people seem to really be enjoying themselves, especially uh, in the uh, upper balcony, which is a VIP area. Uh, folks are uh, enjoying themselves big time. And there you see an interesting stat, Ray, how Jesse Ferguson's percentage now has dropped, and Obed Sullivan is now throwing more punches and landing more. Stats can be very deceiving as well, and it all depends what the judges like. If they like the harder, crisper punches, they clearly belong, for the most part, to Jesse Ferguson. Uh, the more punches landed, of course, uh, and the more punches thrown, are owned by uh, Sullivan, because he has the faster hands, and but only occasionally has he landed uh, his, his power punches to any great degree. So, and this is why I've got the fight very, very close. They seem to be taking turns, taking uh, one round Ferguson takes, the next round Sullivan takes. No one has really established themselves for a couple of straight rounds. Well, hopefully you're scoring the card at home. Big right hand by Jesse Ferguson. He, now he's finding some success with that right hand. Obed Sullivan could be in some trouble here. <laughs> Ferguson three. just crashed three, two right hands and a left hook on Sullivan. And Sullivan hardly blinked and maybe this is the reason why he's standing maybe he knows something that we don't but uh ferguson is a good puncher well michael grant is the only person to uh ever have knocked out obed sullivan uh, other than that, uh, when you take a look at Obed Sullivan's record, Ray, uh, there's only one knockout, and that was by Michael Grant. So I'm sure he can take a pretty good punch, as we saw. I don't think we have to say we think he can take it. We know he can take a pretty good punch. Yeah, he's passed that test with flying colors. There you go, baby. There you go. Stop it, stop it. Stop it, Jeff. Get your hands back, Ray. Stop it. What does that do to Jesse Ferguson's confidence when he sits there and he nails Sullivan with uh, big punches like that and, and it really doesn't seem to phase your opponent? Well, uh, I'm sure it, it encourages him for once uh, to continue to try it, to keep on throwing that combination uh, because you, you can't take those forever. Sooner or later, you're going to go. Now, if he takes 10 rounds of this, then yeah, then he's, Ferguson's going to be shaking his head and being pretty frustrated by the 10th round. Well, right now, I think he's very encouraged. An impressive round for Jesse Ferguson as uh, we are now into the second half of this fight. And uh, Ferguson doing a good job, I think, Ray, of scoring when he had to. And he did it early in the round, and he's uh, been able to stand in there. And uh, a very, very tough round for Obed Sullivan. going to see some of those big punches from uh, Jesse Ferguson. Yeah, once again, Sullivan's on the inside where he shouldn't be, uh, but uh, he feels he's having success there. Bang, a right hand off the chin. Another right uppercut that landed. That right missed, but he did get in a left hand. 
There's the right uppercut there. And that right was grazing. But those sure weren't. They were right on the button. Look at that combination. Ended by the left hook. Great combination for uh, Ferguson. And he'll do that to you inside. And as mentioned, Ray, those those punches do take their effect, and uh, it doesn't matter what kind of a chin you have, it, it, it definitely hurts you. No question about it. Well, we're now into round number seven. Hope you're enjoying this heavyweight showdown between Obed Sullivan and the boogeyman, Jesse Ferguson. Ferguson doing some nice work on the inside again. Story with a left hook and a right hand to the body. Now, why Sullivan doesn't do this? He can make it easy to hide for himself. Oh, there's a slip. That was that was a push by uh, Sullivan. All right, you alright, But why uh, Sullivan doesn't keep uh, Ferguson in the middle of the ring and just and just box him at this point? I, I don't understand. Unless he wants to uh, win by a knockout and uh, is prepared to uh, to suffer the indignity of getting clocked with about a half a dozen left hands and right hands in the process of trying to accomplish it. And this is the wrong sport to prove you're tough by taking punches when you don't have to. Our referee Steve Smolger made it absolutely clear to the judges that was not a knockdown. It was uh, ruled as a slip. Actually, Jesse Ferguson went down pretty hard. Uh, referee Smolger asked him, are you, are you sure you're okay? And he said, yeah, no problem. As we said, uh, Obed Sullivan's coming off that uh, that that knockout uh, in May of this year, and uh, you know that, that that fight may have taken more out of him than than, than a lot of people thought. Well, we know Jesse Ferguson's banking on that. This is not the kind of night that Obed Sullivan had uh, had envisioned, I'm sure, when he uh, when he signed to fight Jesse Ferguson. Well, this is the most holding that we've really seen in this fight between these two gentlemen. Yeah, they've been fighting at a, at a terrific pace. They really have. And they're bound to take rounds off, but uh, there's still some good action uh, inside. Good finish by both gentlemen. And Obed Sullivan looking a little frustrated as we end the seventh round. Here's a good look, Ray, at uh, what was ruled as a slip or uh, push, whatever you may want to call it, but uh, Chessie Ferguson almost tumbling out <laughs> of, of the ring. Don't forget, too, folks, that you can be part of the first ever interactive professional boxing match tonight. All you have to do is log on to your PC, www.broadcast.com. There you see the password. It's explosion. And you'll have an opportunity to witness something that's never been done before in the world of professional boxing. And we do have live chats with Sugar Shane Mosley, Haseem Rockman, and Chris Bird. You can ask the professionals your questions and they'll be glad to answer them for you and that is at broadcast.com i'll tell you you mentioned that sugar shane mosley we just we carried his fight of course a few weeks ago uh, right here in viewers choice and i'll tell you if he's got one of the, the finest fighters in the business today uh i don't know what a talent Jesse Ferguson coming back and lacing Obed Sullivan with some 
really heavy punches. Obed Sullivan seems to be using the short punches. Another good right hand by Ferguson. And Jesse Ferguson really picking his spots. And now look at this. Now Sullivan is allowing Ferguson to actually take a breather so he can, Ferguson can throw another assault at him. I mean, Ferguson's just doing a, a, a power shot number on Sullivan. Granted, I mean, he's, uh, Sullivan's taking those shots, but it's also, in my opinion, losing in the fight. This fight is scheduled for 10 rounds, and Jesse Ferguson looking very impressive thus far. Obed Sullivan trying to rebound after getting knocked out in May by Michael Grant. I'll tell you something as well. Uh, Ferguson is doing a great job uh, hooking to um, Sullivan's body. He's really taking a lot out of uh, Sullivan. Well, this was a must win for Jesse Ferguson, as, as we said before. Oh, he just landed a great right hand and a left hook, Ferguson did. And he's come here to, to win this fight. Another low blow thrown by uh, Sullivan. Well, one thing's for certain, Ray, what we've seen out of the boogeyman tonight, uh, you have to smile. You have to certainly uh, crack a bit of a smile because Jesse Ferguson has not embarrassed himself at all at the age of 41. Not at all. Quite the contrary. He's taken, uh, he's taken Sullivan to school. I just don't understand Sullivan wanting to, to stand in there and bang with the banger. It just doesn't make sense. Good exchange right at the bell. And there's another look at the beautiful Roseland Ballroom, and we have got a jam-packed, jam-packed crowd. And uh, there's a look. Remember when I had talked to you earlier in tonight's broadcast about you being able to select different video, different audio, you get an opportunity to actually see things that you would not see on this telecast. And there you go. That is a live hookup right now to the Internet. And you get to see pictures as they come through. And you'll also be able to uh, score the fight. You'll be able to chat. Uh, it's just unique audio and video, something that just is not offered through any other venue, and we're happy that we can do that tonight through broadcast.com. Don't forget the key word is explosion. Round nine scheduled for 10. I'm James Monsees with my viewers choice boxing analyst Ray Rudder. We've got ourselves a dandy heavyweight showdown between Obed Sullivan and Jesse the Boogeyman Ferguson and uh, the elder statesman, the 41-year-old Ferguson, doing a heck of a job teaching the fighting ex-Marine a few things about the sport that he loves. Good work by Obed Sullivan Ray. He's come out uh, a, uh, much more busier than what he has well, in the past three rounds. Yeah, he, he's got to. They've, once again, they've lit a fire under him as well. On my very unofficial scorecard, I've got I, Sullivan has to win these last two rounds, uh, which is a position I'm, I'm sure he never thought he'd be in. So he's he's just got to become a lot more active and start scoring. As for Jesse Ferguson, Ray, he he cannot afford to take a round off. No, he, he clearly can't. He's got to continue what he's doing right now. Big right hand by Ferguson, but I think it caught a face of the glove of uh, Obed Sullivan. Yeah, he, he was very, very fortunate there. That was a heck of a shot thrown by uh, Ferguson. But Sullivan's been taking those shots all night. I mean, I don't think they're particularly good for your mental health, but it has, he hasn't seemed to be been seriously hurt tonight. Up comes.
filming tonight, of course, our main event. Al Ice Cole will be facing Kirk Johnson of Halifax. And uh, I know a lot of Canadian boxing fans looking forward to seeing Kirk Johnson. Boy, he's done great. You know, he's got a record of 26-0 with 19 knockouts, ranked number four in the WBA. And it'll be fun to watch Kirk Johnson tonight. Oh, it'll be great for our uh, friends uh, down east to uh, watch Kirk Johnson. They, they just love him, love the guy. He's a very, very talented individual, very friendly, and uh, I know he just lives outside the, the Dartmouth uh, area. And he's uh, very well liked by everyone, except his opponents in the ring, of course. Just under 30 seconds to go here in round number nine, and Jesse Ferguson has done a very good job. Uh, Obed Sullivan has been busier, but both fighters doing a good job here in round number nine, staying busy. You know, once again, here we go again. Who do you like? You like the guy who's throwing the more punches, which is uh, Obed Sullivan, or do you like the guy who's throwing the harder, crisper punches? but not as many, and that's Jesse Ferguson. And it's going to be tough to score this fight. Well, we've got one more round to go yet, and uh, hey, it's going to likely go to the scorecards. How are you scoring the fight at home? You know, it'll be interesting to see uh, just exactly how uh, the judges score it, because one thing is for certain, it is a very, very tight heavyweight showdown we've got going on here tonight at the Roseland. And for Jesse Ferguson, Ray, as you alluded to at the, at the top of the telecast, uh, for Jesse Ferguson, he's coming off a win uh, September 3rd against Tyrone Booz in a 10-round uh, decision. Uh, previous to that, he lost a 12-round decision to Asim Rockman. So this is, a, this is a critical fight for Jesse Ferguson. He doesn't need to lose to uh, Obed Sullivan, who was knocked out uh, by Michael Grant. This could propel Jesse Ferguson to possibly uh, a fight with Michael Grant, uh, and I'm sure uh, this may be something that Cedric Kushner and his people are looking at. That's exactly right, James. Each fight, there's a reason, and, and the reason, of course, for Jesse Ferguson would be Obed Sullivan, was to, would be to fight a Michael Grant, and what you get with the Michael Grant fight, uh, despite the fact that it's the opportunity to win his ranking, but you get a big payday. This is professional boxing. Both boxers coming out very busy knowing that this could be a decisive round on the judges' scorecards. I mean, both guys just landed terrific left hooks. And uh, there's just no time, Jimmy. No backing up in these guys. Well, there's a problem with uh, tape loose uh, on the glove of Obed Sullivan. Come on, just give me a quick one so it doesn't bother anybody. Huh? Well, look, I got it off. I did it myself. I did it myself. Time in. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Well, once again, on my very official scorecard, this round may very well make the difference in the fight. Uh, once again, uh, I think Sullivan's got, has got to have a great round here to win this fight or have any kind of chance of winning this fight. But Ferguson's clearly caught his second win, and he's uh, there's lots of uh, bounce in his legs still. Great combination by Ferguson off those ropes. He is doing a great job tonight, Ray, and uh, I'll tell you, I've got to hand it to Jesse Ferguson. I don't think a lot of people expected Ferguson to come out with his A game, and he certainly has tonight. But it'll be interesting what the judges like. Uh, as I said before, I mean, we were surprised in that, uh, the, that Alonzo Highsmith, Reggie Miller fight. Uh, we may be surprised with this one, but. Uh, Pending an absolute disaster, monumental disaster right now, uh, very unofficially, of course. I've got uh, Ferguson winning this fight. Close, but he's winning. Another good left uh, hook by uh, Jesse Ferguson that scores on the judges' cards. And he's been doing that all night, folks. Yeah, he's just out working. Uh, he's just out working Sullivan. Better work than Ray. Every 
time Obed Sullivan goes to those short, snappy punches, Jesse Ferguson seems to come back with two or three big blasts. And that'll be very interesting uh, when it does go to the judges' scorecards because uh, those big blasts that Ferguson has landed, they're, they're huge punches, and they definitely score. remaining and we will go to the scorecards as it's all over with Jesse the boogeyman Ferguson and Obed Sullivan going the distance as expected we talked about it at the start of the fight that uh, well everybody kind of expected these two guys to go the distance and then uh, basically go to the scorecards and you know for uh, Obed Sullivan at the uh, age of uh, 30 you know this is a this is a big big fight for him he needs the win for Jesse Ferguson, no different. He needs the win as well. How are the judges going to score it? Well, we'll have the answer for you in a few moments. Here's some of the action in round 10, Ray. And you see how, how well Jesse Ferguson has done this all night. Yeah, he just countered him, countered Sullivan all night long. And, and once again, who do you like? You like the guy that threw the more punches, which is obviously, I would suspect, uh, Obed Sullivan. Uh, it was speak the devil, but coming up right now. Uh, well, actually, it was a lot closer than, than, than it looked. Obviously, Ferguson really came in at the end. Uh, Sullivan uh, out punching him, but only marginally so. But look at the, the difference in, in the uh, land and, and the percentage. Well, a big night for Jesse Ferguson, Ray, as far as the punch stats, final punch stats were concerned, and uh, it could end up being a really uh, enjoyable evening for Jesse Ferguson. It all depends on how the judges score it, of course, but uh, what a turnaround this could be for the boogeyman. We just have to wait and see according to the judges' scorecards. Of course, uh, you know, uh, speaking of heavyweights, uh, boy, we've got a big, big heavyweight uh, uh, coming, uh, big show coming in January the 23rd. George Foreman, Larry Holmes will be tangling at the Houston Astrodome. And geez, what a card that is going to turn out to be. And here's a look at uh, our heavyweight uh, main event coming up later tonight. Alex Ice Cole and Kirk Johnson. That is going to be our main event. And we do have one more fight before that. And that will pit Shannon Briggs against Marcus Rhodes and the talk at the talk at the uh, weigh-in was that that fight's not even going to go past the first round, so we just have to wait and see. I see the final results are in. Ladies Let's go to Mark Bureau. We have a split decision. Judge Steve Weisfeld scores it 96-94, Sullivan. Judge Harold Letterman scores it 96 94, Ferguson. And Judge Melvina Lathan scores it 96, 94 to the winner by split decision, Jesse Boogeyman Ferguson. Ferguson. Well deserved. I mean, the this, this scoring here in New York uh, has got making me go crazy here. Uh, Ferguson clearly won that fight. Close. It was a close fight, but nevertheless, it was a, he deserved that victory. Well, a very, very big win for the boogeyman, Jesse Ferguson, and that's going to propel him into uh, possibly a bigger fight. I know Sean O'Grady standing by with uh, Jesse, and uh, let's see what uh, Jesse has to say. Out of seven. Jesse, I think you were sweating more before the announcement than you were in the entire fight. You think oh. it should have been a split decision? Oh, no, I think I won it outright. I heard him throughout the fight. He's a lot tougher than what, you know, people might say. He took some great shots from me, but he never had me hurt once in the fight. I had him hurt three or four or five times. You heard him on clean shots. You heard him on numerous occasions, in fact, cutting him in the second round. Did uh, the right hands that you That's were That's the right hand that hit him. Was they that? cut him. I saw a cut him. But that was the factor, too, right? Yes, I think, I think it slowed him up. Yeah, all night. Yeah, all night. He, 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 he wasn't literally throwing a whole lot of punches. Then I thought I was throwing uppercuts, and that's what caught him. 
You came into this fight, a little, uh, little aggression from both of you yesterday at the weigh-in. You didn't like one another. What was his mistake in this fight? He picked Jesse Ferguson to fight. See, everybody thinking because I'm 41, I'm an old man. But I'm a clean liver. You know, I, I, got, I still got a lot more to do. I've been, I've been uh, slacking off of my career because of the way things have gone. You know, towards promotion and management and different things. But I've been put in good situations. This one here was just another good situation that I took really, really advantage of. This one here should do something for me. If it don't, yeah. then I know boxing, yeah, boxing yeah. ain't what it all is supposed to be. What do you think this will do for your career? Uh, well, I, well, I hope it gives me a lot of because I know that he'll be more and more stable. Yeah. I know he's a puncher, but hey, I feel like a sock too. Well, you know what? I saw some, fun, punch, some good punching from you tonight too. Oh, yeah. Jesse Ferguson. Thank I you. also want to get Obed in here. Obed. Congratulations, Je Jesse. Obed, Jesse helping me out. Get over it, Obed over here. How do you feel, Obed? I'm all right, I'm all right, you know. What happened? Um, you know, I really don't know. I thought I did, I thought I won. You thought, do you think you fought his fight tonight? Um, maybe a little more, but I still thought I won the fight. Still, even the split decision, you think that was fair? No, it wasn't even close. I think I, I think I asked him. How many of the 10 rounds do you believe you won? I think I won at least seven. Well, yeah. At least seven. So what happens now to your career? Two, two no, losses in the last threes? What I don't do you know. I, I, you know, I'm not sure. If, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Did you want to use more boxing ability tonight? Um, I thought I won the fight with what I did. But, you know, the referees start different, and I can't do anything about that. Judges. Well, the judges said different, but I can't do anything about that. Next step for you? Um, I'll just go back to the gym and get it again, get it going again. Care for a rematch? Yeah, I'm up for that. Okay. All right. Well, he wants a rematch. Obed Sullivan got work to do. Says uh, he will get back in the gym and take care of the mistakes that he made tonight. He still thinks he won, so I don't know if he's going to improve on anything tonight, if you think you won. But Jesse Bergen pulls off a, a big win for him, and now he gets to go make some money. Well, thank you very much, Sean, and uh, absolutely right. Uh, what a big, big win. There's a re there's a, just the reaction from the boogeyman, Jesse Ferguson. At the age of 41, he looks like a child uh, at Christmas time, and uh, hey, we're not that far away from Christmas. Folks, what a wonderful Christmas present for the 41-year-old Jesse Ferguson as he now has an opportunity to win himself uh, a shot at a big payday. And uh, hey, all the best to Jesse Ferguson. He deserves it. He deserves Deserves it because uh, I'll tell you he's worked hard for this. He's worked hard for this, folks, and uh, Jesse Ferguson's going to get his shot. Coming up, we've got a great fight for.